Hey, Chosen Ones. I pray everyone is having a blessed and awesome day today, a beautiful day. I want to give you all this prophetic word and let you know what God said. God said, get rid of everything that is not planted. Get rid of everything that is not planted on good ground, on good ground. And I want to read you all this verse in Mark 4, verse 1 through 20. And I am reading from the Amplified Version. And it says, Again, Jesus began to teach beside the lake. And a very great crowd gathered about him so that he got into a ship in order to sit in it on the sea. And the whole crowd was at the lakeside on the shore. And he taught them many things in parables, illustrations, or comparisons put besides truth to explain them. So that is what parables mean. He is teaching them by illustrations. He is comparing them to things. And in his teaching, he said to them, give attention to this. Behold, a sword went out to sow. And as he was sowing, some seed fell along the way, along the path. And the birds came and ate it up. Others, other seed of the same kind fell on the ground full of rocks where it had not much soil. And at once it sprang up because it had no depth of soil. And when the sun came up, it was scorched. And because it had not taken root. And because it had not taken root, it withered away. Other seed of the same kind fell among thorn plants, and the thistles grew and pressed together and utterly choked and suffocated it, and it yielded no grain. And other seed of the same kind fell into good, well-adapted soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yield up to 30 times as much and 60 times as much and even a 100 times as had been sown and he said he who has ears to hear let him be hearing and let him consider and comprehend you know what comprehend means that means listen listen very well and comprehend what you are listening to pay attention and as soon as he was alone those who were around him with the 12 apostles began to ask him about the parables and he said to them, to you has been entrusted the mystery of the kingdom of God. That is the secret counsels of God, which are hidden from the ungodly. But for those outside of our circle, everything becomes a parable in order that they may indeed look and look, but not see and perceive and may hear and hear, but not grasp and comprehend. Lest happily they should turn again and it, their willful rejection of the truth should be forgiven them. And he said to them, do you not discern and understand this parable? How then is it possible for, how then is it possible for you to discern and understand all the parables? The source sows the word. The ones along the path are those who have the word sown in their hearts but when they hear satan comes at once by force takes away the message which is sown in them in them i'm sorry I lost my place you all in them. and in the same way the ones sown upon store stony ground are those who when they hear the word at once receive and accept and welcome it with joy and they have no real root in themselves, and so they endure for a little while. Then when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, they immediately are offended, become displeased, and resentful. 
and they stumble and fall away. You know, it's a lot of people out here like that. You know, sometimes when you try to teach someone something and you teaching them what is right, they don't want to hear it. So they get very angry, angry, I'm sorry, and resentful. So I totally understand what this is saying. And the ones sown among the thorns are others who hear the word. Then the cares of and anxieties of the world and distractions of the age and the pleasure and delight and false glamour and deceitfulness of riches and craving and passionate desires for other things creep in and choke and suffocate the word and it becomes fruitless. So if you are loving anything more than God, or if you are not doing what is right by God, it's not a good thing. It's not a good sign. You have to root it out. You have to root it out. You have to root it out. You must root it out. Because what the God says, you become fruitless. You will be fruitless. And those sown on the good, well-adapted so you are the ones who hear the word and receive and accept and welcome it and bear fruit some 30 times as much as was sown some 60 times as much and some even a hundred times as much. This is a wonderful word for us all to know. This word is not just for you all. It is for me also. When I teach a word, it is for me too because none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect, but I am going to pass the word to you all. When God give it to me, I'm going to pass it to you all too, because it may be something that you do not know. You know, this make us think we must get rid of whatever is not good in our lives. God prophetically gave me this word this morning. We must get rid of anything that is not planted on good ground that is such a powerful word that is such a powerful word and i pray you all have gotten understanding out of this word i really do because we all need it in our lives we have people that are not supposed to be in our lives that are not on the journey with us and is not supposed to be on the journey with us and sometimes that can detour you from what God has for you, not sometimes, all the time, because it was just slow down the process when you are not grounded on the right foundation. So I pray that you all listen to this word again, listen to this video again, meditate on this word, on this scripture, find it in your Bible, Mark 4, 1 verse 20, Mark 4, 1 through 20. You could read it in any version that you understand it better. But this is the version that I wanted to read to you all today. The Amplified Version. And I pray you all have clarity and you all have a blessed and wonderful day. And I just want to pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray whoever is listening to this word under the sound of my voice, that they get great understanding out of this word, Father God that they meditate on this word, that they learn from what I have read to them and they look unto you, Father God. If they don't understand, they seek your face, Father God. Bow down to you and you will let them know what is going on in their lives and what they need to do to change the direction of their lives, Father God. In Jesus' name, I thank you for this word, Father God. I thank you for everyone who is listening to this word, Father God. I pray blessings over them, Father God, and I just thank you for loving us with all your heart, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And I pray you all have a blessed and awesome day once again. And I will see you all in the next video. Blessings.